hello dear students welcome to the session on module 5 uh, design of bearing journal bearing so actually the particular chapter or the module that includes the lubrication part which we have, we have already completed now we are discussing about uh, the bearing design so that to the there are two kinds of uh, bearing design or the problems that we come across so the first one is uh, related to the type of uh, uh, that is a uh, diameter of the bearing that is specified along with that some of the information that will be asked and another kind is that uh, the machinery itself will be given for which the bearing is used so in the previous session i have taken one example now let us take uh, another example here the journal bearing is to be designed for a centrifugal pump and running at uh, 1200 rpm so this is the bearing which is used for the centrifugal pump so centrifugal pump is the machinery here or the specific application the given for which uh, the journal bearing is to be used say in case of rotor that we will come across the journal bearing and this rotor is rotating at 1200 rpm and the journal uh, is of 100 mm diameter and the load on the bearing that is uh, radial load 15 kilo newton next uh, comes the l by d ratio that is also given here 1.5 and bearing temperature is 50 degree centigrade and the ambient temperature is of 30 degree centigrade find whether the artificial pulling is required or not that is what the thermal stability or the thermal equilibrium that is asked here so the next thing after uh, noting all the given information say given information that includes what the speed of the journal that is 1200 rpm radius or the diameter of the journal is 100 mm so that uh, radius of the shaft uh, that is 50 mm radial load that is acting on the or uh, applied on the bearing or loaded on the uh, load acting on the bearing is 15 kN that is 15 into 10 raised to 3 newtons ratio of uh, length to diameter is 1.5 u bearing temperature is 50 degree centigrade and ambient temperature is 30 degree centigrade so this is what the information that is given here and uh, next uh, the operating temperature that is required here but uh, since it is not given so we have a standard equation that is nothing but uh, tb minus ta is equal to t not minus ta Uh, whole divided by 2 or you can write the expression for t not as t not is equal to uh, tb minus ta tb minus ta into 2 tb minus ta into 2 plus ta plus ta so that uh, tb minus ta tb minus ta tb is how much 50 degree centigrade and uh, ta is 30 degree centigrade so this gives the answer of 20 multiply this one by 2 plus 30 degree centigrade so that the answer what we get is 70 degree centigrade so this is uh, related to the calculation of t not so t not is nothing but operating temperature t not is nothing but operating temperature now uh, let us proceed with the next part say the very first step here is to note down the recommended values or the design parameters which are recommended uh, for the specified uh, application say for the centrifugal pump uh, we have to refer table number 15.7 of the data handbook and page number 366 in the uh, data handbook say maximum pressure that is given as uh, range here that is 0.7 to 1.4 megapascal and absolute viscosity is given here as 0.025 newton second per meter square and uh, minimum value of zn by p so zn by p is what here that is uh, bearing modulus zn by p that is called as a bearing modulus so bearing modulus is given here as 29.01 so which is uh, Uh, the mini, which is the minimum value so the value what we have to calculate or what we are calculating in the uh, future steps so that should be more than 29.01 for the safe design uh, or to say the particular oil which is used that forms a thick lubrication and next comes uh, the c by r ratio c by r is nothing but uh, c is radial clearance divided by radius of the shaft is 0.0 
one three and l by d ratio is one to two so since uh, the given ratio is 1.5 here that is in between the given range itself so that is uh, accepted and uh, in the meantime we can calculate the radial clearance so radial clearance is given by the value which is given here as uh, 0 0.0013 that is the c by r ratio so take this r to the rhs so that uh, 50 is the radius of the journal so multiply that value by 50 so that you will be getting the answer as 0 0.065 that is radial clearance uh, next comes the value of uh, that second step is to go for the determination of the dimensions of uh, length and diameter if they are given that is well and good if they are not given then we have to make use of pressure value and we have to determine the length and diameter suppose if uh, pressure is not given uh, L and D or uh, any one of these two values are given in that case we can calculate the pressure and that is to be tested with respect to the recommended value say with respect to second step which is written here as design so l by d ratio that is given as 1.5 and the diameter of the shaft that is known diameter of the shaft is 100 mm so if you multiply this 100 mm to this ratio so the answer what we get is 150 mm since we know the value of l and d then we can calculate the allowable pressure allowable pressure so p is given by w divided by l into d so w is what 1500 or sorry 15000 newtons and l is 150 mm calculated and d is 100 mm that is given so after substituting uh, we will be getting the value of uh, pressure allowable pressure as uh, 1 newton per mm square 1 newton per mm square so this is uh, uh, the design step so in the meantime we have to fix the uh, value of uh, absolute viscosity also since it is given no need to fix it so it is given as 0 0.025 newton second per meter square so directly we can use that value for rest of the calculations so now pressure value that is uh, 1 newton per mm square so which is uh, in between the range which is given here as 0 0.7 to 1.4 newton per newton per mm square so that uh, the value what is calculated that is accepted uh, next thing uh, we have to go for the third step that is uh, selection of oil so selection of oil we are here for this particular step so only with respect to the temperature versus viscosity graph or the figure we have to refer the lingaya data handbook uh, which is there the lingaya data handbook and there in that lingaya data handbook figure number 1.2 so which is uh, temperature versus viscosity chart so for the operating temperature of 70 degrees centigrade and the value of z is equal to 0 0.025 newton second per meter square so this value is to be multiplied by 1000 to get the value in uh, centipoise so if you multiply this value by 1000 so we will be getting the answer in centipoise so with respect to these two parameters 70 degrees centigrade and uh, 25 centipoise the curve which is selected is f F curve is selected from the data handbook. So here we will be having T naught absolute temperature and Z is in centipoise along the ordinate. And with respect to different curves, so here we will be getting the curve of F. So this is 70 degrees centigrade here. And with respect to what value 25 centipoise. 25 centipoise, we will be getting the value of uh, our name of the curve that is f curve that is selected so only for this particular step we require the lingaya data handbook here so next step uh, again we can refer the madhavan data handbook itself so table number 15.1 page number 363 so f line or f curve that represents sa30 oil so which is name the near the oil is named here so f curve is representing sa30 oil now whether the oil which is selected or recommended here is suitable or not that also we have to check so for that uh, we have to calculate the zn by p ratio so zn z is absolute viscosity n is uh, rpm and uh, p is pressure but the recommended value is 29.01 that is the minimum value this value is minimum value this should be minimum as it is mentioned in the uh, step one step one and uh, zn by p again we have to calculate so z is point 
0.25 newton second per meter square and n is um, n is uh, 1200 rpm and pressure p is 1 newton per mm square so this is uh, written here is calculated so the calculated value what is obtained here is 30 just above the 29.01 which is recommended value so we can conclude a conclusion that uh, zn by p calculated is greater than zn by p recommended so bearing modulus calculated value is 30 which is greater than 29.01 so hence the oil which is selected is suitable so you can form or you can say that thick film lubrication is possible so this is the third step so after completion of third step again as usual uh, the heat generated step that we have to consider here so heat generated is given by f into w into v so f this is again equation number 15.11 a page number 360 of the data handbook so by using uh, the fundamental expression of velocity v pi dn by 60 into 1000 so the velocity value what we get here is 6.29 meter per second and uh, using Mackey's coefficient of friction equation so f is given by ka into zn by p into r by c into 10 raised to minus 10 plus delta f so equation number 15.4 b page number 353 and for full bearing say for beta equal to 360 degrees ka value is 0 0.195 into 10 raised to 6 and delta f value is 0 0.002 uh, for the value of L by D ratio uh, less than 2.5 so since it is uh, 1.5 here L by D ratio so this can be used so after substituting all the values in the equation we get the value of uh, coefficient of friction as 0 0.0095 now substitute all these values in the equation such as F is 0 0.0095 and W is 15,000 newtons and the velocity is 6.29 meter per second so that the value of heat generated is 896 watts or 896 joules per second so here the small n value is uh, capital n by 60 that is 20 rps which is substituted in the equation of coefficient of friction that is calculated separately and uh, this is the value of heat generated so once you calculate uh, heat generated next you go for the calculation of heat dissipated so heat dissipated there are two equations one is a 15.11 b another one is 15.11 c and uh, in the same page page number 360 so either of these two equations that you can use the heat dissipated equation so now i am considering the equation number 15.11 b so hd is given by kh into a into tb minus ta so tb minus ta is known that is 20 degrees centigrade and a is the area of the uh, bearing so that is a projected area of the bearing that is 20 times d into l into 10 raised to minus 6 so that uh, the answer what we get is 0.3 meter per meter square and kh value kh value is 15.3 joules per second per meter square per degree centigrade so this is for average design consideration average design considerations so the value is considered now substitute all the values 15.3 multiplied by 0.3 that is area meter square and uh, temperature is 20 degrees centigrade so that uh, the value what we get is 91.8 watts or joules per second so this is also joules per second itself and uh, this value is also joules per second itself one joule per second is nothing but watt so directly you can write the uh, in it as watt and the uh, next thing uh, that we have to compare the value of uh, heat generated and heat dissipated since uh, heat generated is more as compared to uh, the value of uh, heat dissipated hence uh, the artificial cooling is required here so that you can come to a conclusion that since heat generation is greater than heat dissipated so the amount of heat dissipation is very less hence the artificial cooling is required here artificial cooling is required so what is the amount of artificial cooling so that is to be calculated as hg minus hd hg is what hg is uh, 896 896 
माइनस एच डी इक्वल टू नाइन्टी वन पॉइंट एट से अप्रॉक्सिमेटली नाइन्टी टू सो नाइन्टी वन पॉइंट एट सो दैट द रिजल्टिंग आंसर वॉट यू गेट दैट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट दैट इज टू बी रिक्वायर्ड से फॉर एग्जाम्पल दैट वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट टू Eight not four point two. That is joule per second or watts. So this is the required answer. So that is what amount of heat that is to be removed from the bearing. So this is about uh, the problem uh, which is uh, application type, right? So in the next session, I will take uh, one more example on the. bearing itself so where we have to calculate the uh, required parameters or asked parameters not application type of problem so in this case uh, here the operating temperature is not given that is calculated and uh, operating temperature to calculate operating temperature we have to make use of the equation tb minus ta is equal to t not minus ta divided by 2 and uh, the pressure value is given as a range lower limit and upper limit so the value which is obtained here is 1 newton per mm square that we have to check that whether is it lies in this range or not and uh, z is uh, 0.025 newton second per meter square it is given directly here directly that we have to use and radial clearance value also and also l by d ratio that is given so as per the recommended value the l by d ratio that lies in between 1 and 2 so that value is 1.5 so that is holds good here so like that we have to carry out the solution and uh, also we have to make use of uh, linga data handbook here for the ref to refer the temperature versus viscosity chart for operating temperature of 70 degrees centigrade and z value is to be used here is uh, in centipoise so we have to note the curve here name of the curve so that is what uh, available in the linga data handbook so in our data handbook also it is there but uh, the value of z is to be in kinematic uh, that is a kinematic viscosity in uh, Centi Stokes it is, so that's why we can make use of uh, Lingaya data handbook for the uh, representation or for the reference or to refer the temperature versus viscosity chart. So this is about the uh, application type of problem. So I hope you have followed the. I hope you have followed the steps. So thank you.